my sophomore year of high school. I started at the packing shed packing with uh, the people from California told me that I could use the end bins which was the little apples and they'd show me how to pack and that's how I learned and then they'd, they would uh, give me half of what I, what I made. <laughs> to, I didn't make much but uh, I'd get a few cents out of it. At that time, uh, the last time I packed I think I only got a penny and a half a box. If you can imagine, it took a hundred boxes, you had a dollar and a half. It took 200 boxes to make three dollars. And then they'd give you a bonus if you, if you put up a good pack. Of course, I wasn't uh, hired by them. I, the California packers put my packs through on their name. But that's how I learned to pack. Because you had to have them packed and they went out on a car at night. These, the labels are slapped on as they were going through. Used to be part of them were dry. They tried to get them, but you couldn't get them dry because they were really wet. That paste was all over everybody. <laughs> and you had that big brush and you had to slap that on and slap that label on and put the brush over and smooth it out. And the fellow that worked at that steady was covered with paste by night, you know, after working, because they had to go out there. They loaded the cars as you were packing. There was cars stood there all the time. The apples were picked in the, and put in apple boxes out in the orchard. And when you went out to pick up a load of apples at one of the ranches, uh, it was frequently somebody on the ground handing a box of apples up to the truck bed and then you stacked them six high and four wide and brought them down to the end of the truck. And the same thing when you loaded apples at the warehouse, you took them off the truck with a hand truck, six boxes at a time, sometimes seven boxes high, which was above the height of the truck. The railroad ran clear up to Oroville, or pretty close to the Canadian border, and picked up apples, and that was how they shipped all of the apples at that time, were loaded into railroad cars. And they would be loaded out of the coal storage uh, directly into a rail car,